Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this knockoff anthropology pillow. On anthropology, it sells for $148, and I'm going to show you how to make it for under $10, depending on the filling that you put inside the pillow. So all you're going to need is a base fabric, which I just used this linen fabric that I found at Joann's, and then a white or lighter fabric, and I just used a lining that I had laying around, um, but you could buy any cotton fabric that's lighter colored. And you will also need a darker thread and an invisible zipper or any type of zipper to put in the bottom of the pillow. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to make the base for the pillow. And I've just done that by cutting out two pieces of fabric the size that I want my pillow to be. It's going to be about 15 inches by 14 inches. Um, if you're filling an actual pillow, just measure the distance around that pillow and then make the cover the same exact distance around um, and match the edges up and you're going to need two pieces so make sure you have that as well and then after that all I've done is I've taken a big piece of paper and I've marked how big my pillow pieces are so I've just marked the corners all the way around and then I've drawn an X to each corner so like from this corner up to this corner I drew a line and then I just followed that an inch out on each side and drew an X. So I went like an inch that way, an inch that way, and then three inches in on each corner. So that way the X is even and I know it'll fit nicely on the pillow. So once I do this I can then cut this out and then cut the X out of my other fabric that I'm going to be using to put on this fabric. Once I have the X all cut out, I just found the middle of my fabric and placed the X in the middle or wherever you want, wherever it's pleasing to your eye. Um, place it and then I started just pinning all the way around it and now I'm ready to sew. And just make sure that you only pin to one piece of fabric and you didn't pin to both. We're just sewing it onto one piece right now. So now I'm going to head over to the sewing machine so I can sew it on. When I'm all ready to sew, I'm just going to line up the edge of the X with the edge of my presser foot. So that way the stitch that we're creating is a little bit in and when we wash the pillow it'll fray a little. The anthropology pillow uses what it looks like a black um, thread to stitch the X on and I'm going to be using a brown thread. So I think that's just more preference for what you want your pillow to look like. And the whole time I sew, I'm just going to be following the outline of the X. So when I get to the corners, I'm just going to put my needle down and put my presser foot up and then pivot the fabric to turn the right direction and then continue sewing. Now that I have my X sewn onto my cover the way that I want, I am ready to finish off this cover um, just like any other cover you would make. So now I'm going to put in my invisible zipper and I'm just going to put it in at the bottom of my pillow and mine's a little bit shorter but that's okay because I'm not putting an actual pillow form in it. I'm just stuffing it. So I'm going to just sew it along here right sides together. I'm going to open up my zipper and with the right sides together I'm going to sew this strip down right along here. I'm just going to place it right in the middle and sew it down and then I'll sew my other strip to this other piece and I'll show you how to do that. So once one side is sewn onto the right side of the pillow cover, now we can sew the other side on. And I have the piece laying right sides together on top of the pillow cover. And what I'm going to do is with it right sides together like that, I'm just going to fold it back, make sure the pillow is lined up, and then fold the zipper back and pin those in place just like that. So we have the cover rolled back a little bit and then I just pull the zipper back place the raw edges together and pin in place. And after that's pinned in place, I'm now ready to sew it down. Once I have my zipper all in, I'm ready to finish off by sewing all the edges together. Now, the edge where the zipper is, you'll just have two gaps on each end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pin together right where the zipper ends. And just make sure I start there and make sure to backstitch so it holds up nicely and I will pin that in place and then I can just sew right along here and it will close that opening. Once I have the zipper sewn in and it looks like this, I can place right sides together 
and finish by sewing all of the edges together with either a straight stitch, a zigzag, or a serger. And then you will be done. And all you need to do is wash the pillow cover without a pillow in it, and that will create the fraying that we saw in the anthropology pillow. So once you're done washing your pillow, you'll see that the edges of the X have started fraying, just like the anthropology pillow. And once you have stuffed the pillow with batting or a pillow form, whatever you want, you are then done with your pillow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Make sure to hit the like button below to subscribe and leave any questions in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!